Hello, my name is Mike, or Ask Mike on GitHub. And today I want to talk about Gecko, which is my open source trading bot and backtesting platform um, for cryptocurrency markets. So this is going to be an introductionary video that also shows the new uh, interface I'm working on. So just a quick note, if you have looked at Gecko in the past, but you couldn't make a lot of sense of it because uh, you had to use a command line and uh, it looked very technical, please look at this video because I'm trying to change that by making uh, an interface for it with charts and everything. Um, okay, but first start, let's start with the basics. Uh, Gecko is a tool to watch financial markets. So this is one. And this uh, is um, a chart that shows the price between the euro and the dollar as she goes up and down. So uh, the idea behind Gecko is that if um, you know, if you know this is the history, and then if you think, well, based on this history, I think we are going, the price is going to end up somewhere in the future. Um, so for example, if you think that, well, I think in the future the price will be here where my mouse is now, uh, that means you think the price will go up. Um, and 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 if you if you think that, you can actually you can just buy the current asset now, wait until the price goes up, and then sell it again, and then you made some money. So everyone who's able to predict to predict where the price will go is able to make money. Um, so Gecko tries to use a bunch of math to find patterns into this um, into the history of a certain market to try to predict where it will go in the future. Um, and the bunch of math is called technical analysis and you use different technical analysis indicators for that. So um, if you look at, for example, trend watching, which is um, um, a very big thing in technical analysis, it basically tries to predict trends as they happen in the market. So in this one, for example, you can see uh, that the price from, uh, in this case, Amazon stock went up in from basically from February up until October somewhere. Uh, if you could have predicted this, if you knew in February the price would go up, you could have bought the stuff at like under 25, like 22 or so. You could have hold it and then a few months later in November sold it or in October actually sold it for 60 at the highest point. Um, like tripling your money almost. Um, so this is basically what, what Gecko tries to do, but this is very hard because if, if every, anyone is able to always do this, they can make a lot of money and uh, that's unfortunately not how the world works. So you can never ac uh, accurately predict what will happen. But this is basically the whole idea behind uh, technical analysis as well. It's about minimizing risk while still being able to predict what might happen. Um, so for that, you use indicators. One of these indicators is uh, MACD. Um, which basically uses a bunch of averages. So on the top here, you can this is the actual price uh, in a in a candle chart, and like if it, the the price can can be really wobbly and shaky, so you can use like um, a filtering process to make it more smooth, so to say. Which you can basically see right here. Like here, you can see that the the you see two lines, a blue and a purple one, and the blue one is a little bit less smooth than the purple one. Purple is the most smooth. And MACD uses two different smoothers and then watch when they um, when they cross to make a prediction about the trend that will that might be happening. So here, for example, um, MACD goes into a, um, a bearish pattern, saying, "Well, I think right now the market, the price of the market will go down," which actually happened, as you can see here. Uh, right here, the, the signal reverses, and you can see that the price will go up. Um, so basically, if you're able to predict this, you can at this point either sell or short the, the certain asset, at this point buy it again, at this point sell it again. Uh, and every time you do this, you make money, which is the idea of trading. Okay, so uh, coming back to Gecko, where does Gecko comes in in this picture? Well, it can run all these calculations and automatically um, apply and trade these assets either virtually by not spending any money, this is called paper trading, or by actually doing it on the Bitcoin exchange. Um, um, or it can um, yeah, or it can just monitor the data so you can later perform these kind of statistical um, uh, calculations over it. 
So if you go down on the Gecko page, you see here, um, so what does it do? It is automated trading. So it, it's able to calculate, it's able to calculate these kind of signals and then automatically trade on these, sig on these signals here. Um, it's able to paper trade. So it basically means the same as automatic trading, but then just use a virtual balance and do not actually make any orders at any real exchange, but just simulate what would have happened if you did. Uh, backtesting is basically um, downloading a bunch of historical data and then running a certain strategy that uses these indicators over it to see whether a certain a certain set of indicators with specific um, parameters would have worked in the past, um, which is called backtesting. And then Gecko, you can also use it for a bunch of other stuff if you want to make like a website with, with, with price charts or whatever. Gecko is able to monitor the market for you, put it in a database, and then you can easily make turn that into charts or whatever. Um, I won't be covering those things in that video. It's a bit technical. Okay, so as I said, I'm working on the interface now. So let's see what it looks like. Uh, so it uses your browser. Um, and, this, and this is basically uh, the main menu right here. So if you uh, want to backtest, you need uh, local data, right? Like you can only uh, calculate over over historical market data what, once you have it. So um, let's see. Well, apparently we don't have anything. So you can go to local data here, and you can again scan that you don't have anything, or you can go to the the importer and directly import historical market data from the interface. Uh, so here you can say, okay, I want from Polonix, I want UCT BTC market, it's the market I'm interested in. Uh, on default, it will it will plug in the last three, three months. So this is basically now, uh, and this is three months ago. Uh, but you can also say, well, I want that to be uh, five months or, or six months. I click import. Uh, and now Gecko is running in the background, fetching the market, actually talking to Polonix, the real exchange and fetching this market data in. Okay, so the import has been running for quite a while now. Um, it hasn't fully imported, uh, imported yet, it still has like almost three months to go. But um, for Gecko, that doesn't matter. You're all able to use, uh, you're already able to use the partial history that is already imported. So basically from the fifth month until the eighth month. Um, so if you go to the backtest page, we can um, we can run a, uh, a strategy over this historical data. So if we click scan now, you'll see that, hey, there is a data set now, which is the one that we are currently importing. You can use that, uh, which is in total three months and a little bit of data. Um, so uh, you have to... Um, let me you have to tell which strategy you want uh, gecko to run over this this data so macd is a strategy that only uses one single macd indicator which is the same as this chart here uh, but as you can see clo uh, if you look closely here it says macd close which means it's calculated over the the close property of the candle uh, and then 12 26 9 uh, so if you go back you can you can see here well we have different ones so we can change them to 12 26 9 to mimic that um, the, the idea is if the change these numbers, the smoothing will change, and therefore the location of the errors will change, which means your signals will change. Um, so you have to figure out which one works best for the market you are looking into. So there is unfortunately no one-size-fits-all, uh, which is why backtesting back is so easy. Like You can just plug in numbers, try, see what happens. Uh, the other thing is the, the candle size. So if you look at this one here, you can see that each block here is a month. Like this one is from Ju June to July. Uh, that means that each of these candles here is probably like uh, bi daily or so, uh, because there are only like 15 or so in this thing here. Um, but if you would have to be plugged in a candle every minute, so to say, so there would have been thousands of candles, you would have gotten different um, uh, signals as well, because then basically you're looking at the market from a different resolution. Uh, so with Gecko, you're able to uh, to change that. So you can say, okay, I want either minutely, hourly, or daily candles, and then how much. So you, you, you can say three days if you want. Um, you can also say um, 
three hours. Let's, let's keep it at three hours for now. Um, you can also do it whatever number you want. Um, okay, so history size is how much warm up you need. If you're if you're dealing with indicators that use an average, um, you're gonna find that you don't really see that in this chart. But in the beginning of uh, the simulation, when there are only a few data points available, so obviously the strategy is not going to this data because then it could just look at what the price will be. It needs to predict this. Is the whole the whole idea. But if you only have like one or two cables left, you can't really calculate an average over those. So you will see that the lines are the same and they will cross a lot. Uh, and for that, you need a warm-up period until after that, uh, the signals should be ignored, uh, which is here. So this is the amount of candles uh, Gecko should use and ignore uh, the um, signals. Uh, okay, so we've configured this. Let's just keep it done for now. Let's click back test. So now it's, it's running... Uh, this uh, this specific strategy, so to say, with this specific con uh, configuration, over this data set. Uh, it takes uh, a few seconds. There you go. Oh, this is actually. Um, if you would have done this, you would have like if you would have done this uh, with a hundred dollars, you would have now had one hundred and twenty-seven dollars. So that's like a profit of almost twenty-eight percent. Um. So this here shows a bunch of statistics about this about this backtest, um, and then here you can see um, uh, the price. The blue line is the price. The green dots are uh, buy signals, and the red dots are sell signals that we got based on this specific configuration. Um, so you can zoom in here. So you can look at um, Gecko would if you would have run the specific. So with Gecko, it would have bought right here um, and would have sold right here again. On and on and on. You, you, can, you can scroll to look at specifically why, uh, what kind of choices Gecko would have made. Um, yeah, and, uh, and that's it for now.